welcome back. We are in the Temple of Time. You're about to walk up to the door of time. Not, not pussyfoot around, we're gonna get right to it. Boy. There are three hollows and an inscription. Ye who open that back. Ye who owned three spiritual stones, stands with the Ocarina of Time and play the Song of Time. That is how the inscription. Three hollows and it's oh, oh. I think I just gotta go for the ocarina. I wish I could walk, but like I can't I can't make him walk. Hey, is it that? Hmm? Love that beautiful blade. It's the legendary blade. <laughs> Yes, it is. Probably one of my favorite swords in all of, like, fandoms. You know what I mean? That window, I'm pretty sure that window was added. I, I don't know, I could be wrong. Little sanctum. Okay. Oh, so pretty. Here we go. Ah! Mm -hmm. Look who wasn't following Zelda and was actually following us. <laughs> Excellent. Yes, I would all to you, kid. <laughs> yep. Dude, turned right around and followed me. Link! Wake up! Link, the chosen one. Awesome mustache. I am Raru, one of the ancient sages. Ages ago, we ancient sages built the Temple of Time to protect the entrance to the sacred realm. This is the chamber of sages inside the Temple of Light. The Temple of Light, situated in the very center of the sacred realm, is the last stronghold against Ganondorf's evil forces. The Master Sword, the evil-destroying sword that you pulled out of the pedestal of time. The final key, 
to the sacred realm. Link, be alarmed. Look at yourself. Yeah, it looks so good, man. It looks so good. I love the way he looks on here. Heck yeah. Look, Link, you're big now, you could eat. The Master Sword is a sacred blade that evil ones may never touch. Only one worthy of the title of Hero of Time put on the pedestal of time. Let's be honest, true hero of Hyrule in general can always touch it, but I digress. However, we're too young to be the hero of time. Therefore, your spirit was sealed here for seven years. Now that you're old enough, time has come for you to awaken as the hero of time. Understand your destiny? Yeah? But remember, when you open the door of time in the name of peace, Ganondorf, the Gerudo King of Thieves, used it to enter this forbidden sacred realm. He obtained the Triforce from the Temple of Light, and with its power he became the King of Eva. Evil power radiated from the temples of Hyrule, and in seven short years, transformed Hyrule into a world of monsters. My power now has only little influence, even in this sacred realm. Namely, this chamber of sages. But there is still hope. The power of the sages remains. The power of all the sages is awakened. The sages' seals will contain all the evil power in the void of the realm. I, Roru, am one of the sages. And... Your power to fight. Together with the sages makes you the hero of time. The hero of time chosen by the Master Sword. Keep my spirit with you. Find the power of the other sages. Add their might to your own. The Light Medallion, Raru the Sage, as his power to yours. Yeah, yeah. Find the other sages and save Hyrule. And we're back in the Temple of Time. Waiting for you, Hero of Time. Evil rules all, an awakening voice from the sacred realm. All those destined to be sages fell in the five temples. In a deep forest, and on a high mountain, through a vast lake, one within the house of the dead, inside a goddess of the sand. Together with the Hero of Time, the awakened ones will find the evil the light of peace to the world. This is the legend of the temples passed down by my people, Chika. I am Sheik, survivor of the Sheik. I love Sheik. You standing there holding the mythical master sword, but they do look like the legendary hero of time. I believe the legend must look at the five temples, awaken the five sages. One sage waiting for the time of awakening for his temple. Please, girl, I'm sure you know. 
but that the evil power in the temple should hear the awakening call from the sacred realm. Unfortunately, equipped as you currently are, you cannot even enter the temple. Believe what I am saying. Head to Kakariko Village. Understand, Link. I got you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's go! Time for an adventure! Ooh, I feel like the temple is like a different color. No. It'd be cool if it was like some more dustiness to it or something. That'd be kind of interesting, but. Oh well. Let's go. Head to Kakariko Village. And look at Death Mountain. It's such a, I think it's so, such a good, like, stark, like, whoa, things are different now. You know, when you come here, it's all bright, there's water in, in there, you know, around the temple. Trees and flowers, and you come out and it's all dead. Mountains lit up, with this whistling of ominous doom. It's cool. I'm to Castletown, market, and it's all broken such a great way to really show off like the changes that have happened you know get out of here gotta get to Kakariko bridge the drawbridge is all broken and busted but never goes up anymore the sky looks all ominous but if you get away from Castle Town world's all right. It's all right, you know? We're okay. Good. Okay, so yes, we need to go to Kakariko. Actually, we'll go ahead and go to Kakariko. See how the old town's doing. Seven years, you know? For the most part, looking all right. And what's cool is they finished building up the construction building. The archery area now. Is that Goron? Is it Goron dance party or something? You're still standing here? I read a new type of miniature cuckoo. I call it a pocket cuckoo. I don't get goosebumps from this baby. Cuckoos are very good at getting lazy. Well, Oh, oh, Cook is very good at getting lazy late rises out of bed. Haven't you heard of them before? Makes him very happy to crow. Cuckoo! <laughs> Especially when it wakes up a very heavy sleeper. My cuckoo is not entirely happy right now. You, you look like you're good at handling cuckoos. Yeah, take this egg. If the cuckoo hatches, bring it back to me after a while. And uh, I'll check out its move. What do you think? You try? Yeah, sure. Pocket egg. I actually didn't remember her being. That, I I don't remember her giving that to me, but cool, I'll take it, you know. Ooh, um. Point. Check the inside of the windmill. Now that we're here as an adult. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, he's going crazy. Yeah, I can't get that just yet because I can't use the boomerang as an adult. <laughs> I'll never forget what happened on that day, seven years ago. <laughs> it's all that Ocarina kid's fault. Next time he comes around here, I'm gonna mess him up. Yeah? What, was, what did the Ocarina kid do? Like, one of these? What? You got an Ocarina? What the heck? That reminds me of that time seven years ago. Back then, the mean kid came here and played a strange song. It messed up this windmill. I'll never forget this song. <laughs> Is my other favorite. I like this. <laughs> this, is a, this, is, this guy is like a weird paradox that happens in the game. Song of Storms. Now, <laughs> the windmill goes faster. Oh no, it's storm again! 
You played the ocarina again, didn't you? Ah! <laughs> yeah, this thing moves a lot faster. <coughs> After you play the song storms. So he's oh, whoa. Okay. He's a it's a it's a funny paradox of time travel that happens with him. So I have to learn that song as an adult, and then when I go back as a child and I see him, he'll be all happy and chipper, and then play the song, and then it's like the first, then it's what he's talking about. But it's like I would never learn it if I never traveled through time. It was this weird whole thing. Art pounding grave digging tour. Tours are canceled until a new gravekeeper is found. We apologize for the game. Yeah. So it's been seven years. Dompe was a pretty old dude. And uh, unfortunately, not live past. Not live past. Uh, let's take. Get out of here. Bottle. Oh, uh, yes. I, but I had to swing at it, but no, I just walk into it. Okay. Flowers there. I feel like the flowers are the thing. Is it? Uh, I think so. Let's see. Yeah, here it is. All right. Cool. There is the ghost of Dompe. <laughs> he's all old and slow, but now he's uh likes to race people. We're gonna do that. Next time. Well thank you very much for watching. Uh in the next episode we're gonna give Dompe a good race now that he's a free spirit. Quite literally. And uh continue this awesome adventure with adult link! Yeah! So please like the video, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace love.